Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I'm Dennis Madigan, co-chair with my wife Judy of the Whitefish Chain Antique and Classic Woodboat Rendezvous. This is our 23rd year. My wife and I have been co-chairing this for 18 years. Uh, the boat show actually started uh, in 1988. My cousin and his wife, Ginger Harrison, they uh, started the show and we took it over five years later and have been enjoying the beautiful setting here in Moonlight Bay uh, in Cross Lake, Minnesota. This is really a community event. Today we have over 70 boats here at the show. We have boats from $1 million on down. We have great user boats and we have all kinds of boats here. We've got ski boats, uh, boats that I call memory lane. It's the kind of boat you look down and you say, you know, my grandpa had a boat like that or the neighbor had a boat like that. I used to ski behind it or I learned how to ski. And then we've got the other kind of boats that just say this, boy, when I win the lottery, I'm gonna buy one like that because yeah, we do have million dollar boats here also. We also have the International Boat of the Year here. This year, uh, for, it was last uh, year, named by the uh, Antique and Classic Boat Society at their international convention. And we've got good old user boats, we've got canoes, we've got rowboats, we've got launches, we've got twin engines, uh, we've got 28-foot boats that sat on the back of a yacht in the Mediterranean. We've got plenty here to see a beautiful Moonlight Bay. If you can't make it, it's always the fourth Saturday in July next year, and every year thereafter, God willing, the creek don't rise. Being asked, you know, what is your favorite boat? The nice thing about this boat show, show for me is that they're all my favorites because there's such a variety. Uh, I mean, you, you're going down the, the line here, and you see boats with 17 coats of hand-rubbed lacquer sanded down to 2,000 grit sandpaper. And next to that, you might see a 45 horsepower outboard Johnson that, you know, you saw on the lake when you were a kid up here. There's every kind of boat you can imagine. There's uh, Garwoods, Hacker Crafts, there are boats I never heard of. In fact, we got some new ones here this year. I thought, what kind of boat is that? We've even got some boats with flat bows. I mean, it's not the point, it's flat. All kinds of them. Just, you just got to take them all in. When you're dealing with an antique or classic boat, you're, you're dealing with wood. And uh, it takes a lot of work to keep them in the condition that they're in. There are some boats that they actually have employees that do nothing but work on their boats. We have a lot of boats where the skipper themselves work on the boat. They start from scratch and build it. They tear it down. They rebuild it. They finish it. They do the the whole boat themselves, and it, it's a labor of love, believe me, because some of them work on these boats three years or more to bring them, and, and, and they're just pristine boats. Well, uh, last year we had 12,000 people at the boat show. That was the estimated crowd. The lines already this year have started about an hour and a half earlier, so I think we're gonna have more than that. They come from everywhere. We have license plates. We went out and just looked at license plates. Texas, Arizona, Florida, Canada, Kansas, Washington State. So anyway, you know, they just come from all over and young and old and people that have never owned an antique boat, have never been involved with it, but they just come to see the boats and then others who might have had one or dreamed of one. Uh, there's just a lot of everything and uh, it's fun to look in the parking lot and see what we have. Now, I have a 1949 Chris Craft, and it is all 100% original. The engine is 1949, 95 horsepower, uh, and yet my cousin has a 1953, but he's got a big Chevy engine in it, a newer, you know, motor. And yet you have both. Uh, there are those that like to kind of be the purists, and uh, I'm not quite the purist, but. Uh, Everything on my boat is original wood, original motor, original everything. And uh, a lot of them are that way. Others, probably the wood and all that is restored. And uh, that would be like the original boat. But sometimes the mechanical, and they enhance it and improve it. We believe that every boat show in the country contributes to the history of these boats. We had a boat here last year 
and the name of the boat was Reprieve. The man had major medical problems and was going to die. And he did. And when he, everything worked out, he turned to his son and he says, we're going to restore the boat and we're going to call it Reprieve because I got a reprieve on life. Now that boat's going to get a reprieve back to the historical boat that it was in the original state. Last year it was here, and I think next year they're bringing it. They brought a different boat this year. But to restore the history, and we have a lot of young people now participating and bringing boats. And that's important that we get them involved. And not just the old timers, that we need to pass this on. It's a part of our history. Well, the first thing, they better have a lot of patience. And they need to make some contacts with people that have restored boats to get a lot of help. And there's people all over the country that can help, you know, people do that. It, uh, it's usually a long process, but it's one that everyone that has done it has said, boy, was it worth it. To be able to take, and they'll bring pictures of when they started a restoration, and then you look at it again and you say, wow, that's what that was? And then you see it now and it's like, I can't believe it looks like that. A lot of work, a lot of time, and you know what they say about boats, they're nothing but a hole in the water you pour money into, but you know it's worth it. We have the People's Choice Award, which all of the public that comes, it's 12,000, they get a chance to vote for their favorite. Then the top award is uh, the Skipper's Choice, and that's where the skippers themselves go around and evaluate all the boats and decide what they think is the best boat in the show, and that's our top award. But then we have another 12 awards the deal with utilities under and over 20, utility boats under and over, outboards, fiberglass, uh, uh, different kinds of boats. We also have uh, a Grand Marshal Award that flies our pink bloomers, which are our official flag. And uh, that started in 1989 when a guy left some pink bloomers on a dock. And as a joke, we made it our official flag and we've been flying it ever since. We have a Founders Awards, uh, special, special awards. Well, the show starts at 9 every year, 4th Saturday of July. It ends at 4. At 4 o'clock, we ask the skippers to start their engines, and they all crank them up. They go out into Cross Lake from the bay, and they form up and do a flyby at full throttle back through the bay in front of the docks for everybody to see the boats up and running. The show started in uh, 1988, first year we had 12 boats. It was fun to be part of the beginning of this thing and been here most years since. We now have, I think, 74 boats here today. Thousands of people show up on a beautiful day and uh, it's turned into a really nice event for the community. Well, I've kind of been around the lake most of my life and when I was a kid there was an awful lot of mahogany boats running around. It was kind of neat to remember how things were back in those days. Uh, I was fortunate to come across a boat that was significant to the area, so it's been a lot of fun being part of that. I have uh, a 1949 22-foot Chris Craft Sportsman that in years past carried the mail on the Whitefish chain. I found the boat decrepit in uh, 1992, spent a few years getting it restored. It's now back at the boat show every summer. This is its fifth show. Um, boats built today might be a little more convenient in some ways, but they don't sound or feel the way that the antiques do. Uh, this year I brought uh, a 1969 uh, Riva Super Aquarama. It's 29 feet long. It's an Italian boat. Uh, it has uh, two engines, two 454 Crusaders. Um, it's all African mahogany. Uh, the other boat I brought is a uh, 1931 D White, 17 foot split cockpit, which is a beautiful uh, little boat and that uh, was made by the Dwight Lumber Company in Detroit, Michigan. And they made a few boats, and uh, so that's, that's what I brought this year. I've been participating in the show almost since it began, um, and I've seen it grow over the years into uh, really what I believe to be a significant uh, show. And I've been to a few around the United States. The, uh, level of boats at this show I think is exceptional and uh, great diversity of uh, different types of boats so it's been a great uh, great experience.
Uh, these boats are uh, historically significant, of course, and there's a great nostalgic appeal. I think by restoring these boats, uh, where we realize that we're all just uh, temporary uh, curators of, uh, of these boats, and uh, I, I think it's a history well worth uh, preserving. We hope the public enjoys what we're doing. Uh, it's a labor of love, but it is love and it is labor. And we enjoy it and we're glad we can still do it. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, Contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.